realizing that I was not welcome in a lot of circles. Um, there was no aloha in a, in a lot at a young age. And it's not, I, I, before I keep going, let me just say, I'm not going to condone the way I was, the way I perceived it is just a perception. Mm -hmm. And there's, and there's always other sides to it. But I will say from my very limited perspective, as I remember an elementary school kid, I'm getting beat up in the bathroom. Like I, I would go to the bathroom and I was having guys like just gang up on me and pound me out and like call me fucking Howley and da 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 da. And I don't even know what Howley is because I'm Howley and I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. Like I was full North Shore vibes. Mm -hmm. It's like, mm -hmm. he, he's so Howley, he doesn't even know you. <laughs> that kind. So I was like, okay, like I just didn't understand. All I knew at a young age before you're an emotionally intelligent being and you can break things down, I'm feeling, I've, I'm feeling hate. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because I would say that's the opposite of feeling aloha. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling hate and I don't understand why. I don't understand where it's coming from. Um, I, I, I am understanding what side it's coming from. It's not, it's coming from the people who, who, who have generational ties here. And then all of a sudden I'm feeling very newbie outcast, like, Okay, and the, and and the way I dealt with that was super poorly. Um, I, upon feeling racism, became racist. I, upon feeling racist, <laughs> I, upon feeling racism, became racist. I, I, it was just like this chip on my shoulder that was being passed on from kids who are just my age. I, I know, hundred and ten percent. The kid who was bullying me for being Howley didn't actually have a bad, it was his dad or grandpa or mom or whatever. Like it was, it was the household and he was just being like taught like fucking Howley was just the concept. Mm. And I couldn't understand that. All I, all I understood was I was being like hated on. So his chip that he has on his shoulder that he got from his parents is now on my shoulder as a kid. And I without knowing it, took that burden on, and now I'm putting out the hatred. And I was never doing it in um, a bully kind of way. I never became the bully. But what I realized I was doing was I was assuming that people were not going to like me before I gave them the chance to get to know me. So mm -hmm. I would get really, like, uncomfortable for a long time in, in um, getting into new crowds. Like, people would always... Even like well into my Instagram career when I had a following and whatnot, people would expect me to be like this really fun, adventurous, loud spoken. And they'd be kind of shocked when I'd get into these big events and I'd kind of just cruise and do my thing. Um, Cause I was always, I was, I was, I was not putting out Aloha at all. I was putting out kind of this subconscious hate where I was just assuming you weren't going to like me, so I'm not even going to give you the chance. Mm -hmm. Which I think a lot of people think that, um, what's the word? What's the opposite of humble? Braggadocious. Yeah, people think I'm very braggadocious, which might be true in some, some they might have a point here and there. Arrogant. Arrogant, that's the word. <laughs> um, but I think that a lot of the times they're misconceiving the fact they think I'm like too cool for them, but really I'm just like, bah, like I just. But recently, I, I like just in, recently as in like the last few years, I've really been able to break that down. So the reason I'd even want to bring that up is I think everyone, I would like to encourage, you know, I also, I understand, like, you know what else is funny? I'm racist towards holidays. If you're more Holly than me, I so I completely get it. If you don't like Hollies, because I also don't like them when they're more Holly than I am. <laughs> like me and my friends will make jokes where like a Holly family will go by and we'll be like, that family's a little white. Like even for me, like that was just, a, they're just a little. There's levels to this. Thing is, we're a little bit, so I get it. Um, but that, so that I think is like the first time that I was not feeling Aloha at home. And what I really needed to learn to do and what I, I'd like to encourage, you know, 
other people to do. So it's a loaded question. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to give the right response. Because I did, I've learned a lot in this aspect. Mm -hmm. But always give aloha. Like, always. If you give, if you, if you have that chip on your shoulder and you're living in Hawaii and you have a little bit of hate, no matter what, like, color you are, whether you're Haole, Hawaiian, Portuguese, Japanese, Chinese, whatever you are, if you have some sort of chip on your shoulder, get rid of that thing immediately and just start with aloha and watch your whole life change. Watch the people you start bringing into your life. So for me, a, a big part of it was feeling outcasted as a Haole. And I would say like, so, so like what the opposite of Haole is going to be Hawaiian. So for me, damn, I can't really find the words for this one. Mm. Damn. But I know it's a hard thing to explain. It's like when you're, it's, it's like one of those moments, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I know what you mean. Yeah. But for the people listening, they, they might not know what know you what mean. I mean. So that's why you have to find the words to explain mm -hmm. it. I'll but find it. We, it's, a, it's a very fragile mm -hmm. topic and sensitive topic. So I can see your mind working, trying to find the right words yeah, to offend like, anyone. It's something that I've, I've defined for myself, but it's hard to define for others. But like for me, oh, what I guess what I would like to say is for like the Howler Kid, because that's what I can relate to. Always bring aloha and... The real Kanaka are going to recognize that. And if they don't give it back right away, if you keep coming constantly with that, because don't expect to give aloha and then to immediately get it. Some, it needs to be earned sometimes, depending on where you are. But if you keep coming with aloha, the real Hawaiians will recognize that and they'll give it back. I've never met an, uh, a true Hawaiian who's on it. And what I mean by true Hawaiian, someone who's on their path. So like a, like a real path person that's just set on their path that give you that energy of like nope howly boy like they don't have that fucking howly mentality all they have is aloha for you no matter what those people out there so the other thing i want to say for all the howlies that feel that they're like getting judged or ridiculed or whatever where are you bringing your aloha to a bar to pick up chicks, to a surf break that's already too crowded. <laughs> I've never seen anybody get beat up in a Aloha. You know, you, yeah. you show up to a community work day with Aloha, poof, watch how many friends you get. Watch you break down all those walls of what you thought a Hawaiian was and how you thought they viewed you. So from my perspective and what I've been able to do, that's what I can say. Because coming from someone who at one point felt like an outcast and now feels like a member of the community, it all started from within and me putting up those walls first and then kind of breaking them down. Oof, I love it. You're a lot, you lot more Hawaiian than some Hawaiians out there. Just got to say that. <laughs> I appreciate it. I definitely, that's another thing. One, I'm glad I found that. Sorry for the people who listened to that whole thing and had to had to watch my mind go. Oh no, they're just gonna see the clip that we <laughs> <laughs> post on Instagram and what you just said in that little 30 second segment. That's all we need. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I got that. Um, you know the other thing that's funny now because you said you're more Hawaiian than other like other Hawaiians would be. It's that's another that's the the new thing for me is. Um, I now feel like I have the, the Hawaiian wannabe card. It's like you got street cred. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just like, oh, okay. Like I have street cred, but I also have like, like the hater side of it is like this fucker just wants to be Hawaiian. It's like, oh, well you might be right a little bit. I, I definitely am so proud to be Haole because I feel like I have such a unique perspective mm -hmm. that I get to give other Haoles because I'm, I'm on this side. That's what I am. And so then I can be the best haole I can be. I can show everybody in Hawaii, you can be a good haole. Like it's a, you can be a good version of that. So I'm, 
I like being able to like kind of carry that flag because I feel like there's a not not a lot of people carrying that flag. Um, but the one thing I am I will always be envious of is that Hawaiians actually get to have ancestral ties to this land. Mm. There's there's things that I'll never be able to understand. That I'll just never understand the full beauty and the full power of what they get to feel. So for the Hawaiian listening to this, God, just know how blessed you are to be a Hawaiian in Hawaii with access to your home. So like priced out of paradise. So many Hawaiians have to fight just to get the smallest little piece of what it means to be Hawaiian. Guy, being Hawaiian in Hawaii, that is the biggest superpower in the world, I swear to God. Mm -hmm. You can tap. We have another film coming out. I don't know what we're going to call it, but it's going to be about hula. Um, but we got to talk to Kuha'o Zain. And we... Love that family. Just great family. And he said this one thing. It was... There's generational trauma. We can all agree upon that. But if there's generational trauma, then there's the same has to be said that there's generational talent, generational wisdom. You can tap into mm -hmm. your place, your kapuna. Like there's, it's, the access is undeniable. And like we were talking about earlier, being unique is a superpower. If you can tap into the uniqueness of being a Hawaiian, how many Hawaiians are on the planet? You know what I mean? So I, 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 I'm very aware that a lot of local kids from from Hawaii, both Hawaiian and Hawaiian, the um, and and we we in in Mo'orea with Tituan, we were able to talk about this. He felt it too. I feel like from traveling around the Polynesian Triangle a little bit and other islands, we all had that same mentality as island kids that I think we start off with this idea that we're not good enough. That we're not, that we don't have greatness within us because we're out in the middle of nowhere and everything's happening far away. That's all the big stuff. No, 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 no. Now, I know what Thompson said. We're in the middle of everywhere. This is the center of everything. So I think that's powerful. And I would love for, to see Kiki walk around with that, that mana in them, that mm -hmm. understanding that they're special, yeah. that this place isn't setting them up for failure. It's setting them up for success. They just need to learn how to channel into their uniqueness, into their Hawaii or their Hawaiian-ness or their whatever it is. Hawaii is giving you a very unique perspective, way of being, way of living, and you need to learn how to utilize that. Yeah, and I think it comes from doing something as simple as flipping the way you look at yourself and you look at Hawaii. Mm -hmm. You know how we all say mainland, mm -hmm. you know, the mainland is mm -hmm. California, Washington, Las Vegas, Nevada, Ninth Island. Shout out to them. If we just flip the way we think and look at Hawaii as our mainland, this is, like you said, the center mm -hmm. of everything. The strength comes from here. The knowledge comes from here. Everything that the world needs can come from here, especially Aloha. Mm-hmm then this is our mainland. This is our home. And this is where everybody can learn and we can be the role model and the inspiration to the rest of the world, mm -hmm. even though we're a small chain of islands, mm -hmm. right? So that's what it is. Yeah. And yeah. that is the series that I'm going to do on YouTube. Like this next year's I'm going to do on Captain Potter YouTube channel. Check them out. Check it out. <laughs> it's going to be all about that right there. What you love just it. said. I love it. 